Hello everyone, welcome back. So far so good, right? So let's put the rest of our variable, six, seven, eight. Okay, so did this write the status? So write the status will be the same as sex. Choose this number category, number variable. But write down status. It is right. So then one will be enough. Label one will be single. Two will be married. Three will be widow. Four will be separated. Now we will give a missing value. This will be our my rider. Click OK. Now press enter. So for every categorical value variable, choose this always show big list during entry so that every data manager will show a list of options during data entry. Click apply, click close. The next one current pregnancy status. Current pregnancy status will either be yes, no, so let's say that if you are a, uh, if you are a man, this does not apply, so there should be a not applicable category, also there should be a missing category, right? okay? Now the same as Marita status, click this new integer variable, number variable. Garen Preg Nancy status Preg Nancy One will be yes. So to be intuited, we will put zero as no. So it is intuitive, right? Zero is no, one is yes. So if you just change this one zero. This will automatic, automatically become one. The next one will be not applicable. So we'll put eight as not applicable. And we'll put nine as missing value. So I did a manager will nicely give it out to you. This will be our pregnancy. Click OK. Choose mass under, go to a standard tab, choose this one, apply, close. The last one, the last one would be address. Okay, so our address would be something bigger than the normal uh, the normal string, the normal text. So it should be a memo. There is a something called a memo with starting with M. This icon represents memo. Click here and then click here. So this is a memo uh, address. So you can see it's a memo. And it is our address. Click mass under fee. Okay, so there is no missing value category. Okay, so basically just go to the node. So this node with definition or help to show during entry. So during entry, this will pop up so that the data entry person can see any nodes that you want to see. So we will say that type missing if missing. Okay, great. Now click apply, click close. So now we have uh, we have completed all variables. Now save this and try it in Epidata Entry Client. See if it is work or not. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like the video, just give us a thumb up and see you in the next video.